Team, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna do a gear dump of the gear I carry out on patrol. 90% of it is government issued, right? Although there are a few items in here, I'm sure that would make a few select sergeants major completely lose their minds. Spartan 7, out. This is a special collaboration with Martin. He runs his own channel called Bushcraft Buddy. It's kind of a German versus US uh, military issued gear, right? So make sure that you go check out his video and, and all of his videos, but you tell Martin to, to get stoked and to stay stoked, right? Uh, we're we're two-time champions. <laughs> but seriously, he's a good, humble dude. So the first piece of gear uh, that we're going to look at is the blouse that I have on. It is Multicam Tropic. And I do have a few items. I don't carry this thing like crazy loaded down. Uh, but there are a couple items I carry on my person in the blouse all the time. So in the left pocket, I do carry a right in the rain notepad, a pen, and a spare protractor. Right shoulder, I have a lighter, some mini chem lights, mini furrow rod and striker, and red light. Breast pocket, a little pogey bait and a spare compass. Let's take it to the table. Of course, you need some kind of a boom stick, and this is my current one. Nothing too crazy special about it. So I'm, I guess I am a little bit more old school. Um, but this is my preferred carry uh, as far as how I'm going to carry my loadout. A uh, couple things here. Uh, definitely make sure that you notice everything is silenced, right? You don't want any jingle jangle. Reduce it anyways. So I do have two magazine pouches plus one, plus one in the rifle. So that's six, seven, eight magazines. You can do the math as far as how many rounds that we're carrying. Moving over to the wearer's left next to that. I have a small first aid kit. It's really a, a trauma kit, if you will. Uh, nothing crazy going on up inside here. Just a few major items. Continuing to the where's left, uh, one quart canteen. And then we get to the ass pack. Attached to the ass pack, I have a small e, &E kit. Fire starting materials. Kevlar cordage. Gorilla tape and some Advil when you feel like having fun with the missus out in the woods. Waterproof bag and collection bag. A signaling mirror, right? Cuffs are rolled. <laughs> uh, inside the ass pack, what I carry in here will change up a little bit based off of what I want to be getting out and doing. Um, but we'll take a look and see what we have in here now. So I have a perimeter uh, security kit. Makes little booms, right? A couple of different attachments in here as far as how I want to get it set up. Let me know if you know what that means. A pair of socks in a Ziploc bag, a thermal optic, IR strobe, survival blanket, man's makeup, mole skin, a little instant heat, chem light on a stick, fire start materials, and a small fishing kit, and extra batteries, just a little handsaw. And I'll also pack in a uh, field strip MRA in here most of the time. And as you can see, there's plenty of room for all the stuff. Continuing on over, have a, another one quart canteen. This particular one is metal, so I can boil some water in it. Also have attached a small button compass and, and some iodine tablet. One tourniquet, K bar. Just a dump pouch, right? And a command good compass. This fight and load, uh, I can sustain myself uh, pretty effectively. So the only other things I add into other than, you know, a field strip MRE, depending on what I'm doing, I may take my poncho and attach it to the bottom or the top of my ass pack. 
And of course we need more uh, than what's on our body because you never know what's gonna happen. So I have a medium Alice pack uh, that has had a few modifications to it. Uh, but over on the where is right side, I have a first aid kit, all kinds of hoo-yahs. This is the, the boo-boo kit. What I carry on my person is a little bit more of a trauma kit. And then coming over, exterior pouches, I have some cordage, some chem lights. This is just more of a what do I want to pack today kind of thing. Other external pouch, baby wipes, because you got to do what you got to do. And right now I have some extra cordage in Oh my god. Uh, final exterior pouch, just a set of binoculars. Two quart canteen, e-tool, and multi-tool. Bottom of the ruck, have a bedroll just using a bivy sack and a poncho liner inside. Strap together to the old rucksack using a bungee cord, right? Nothing special. Uh, modded with some tactical tailor uh, straps and uh, not tactical tailor uh, waist belt. Extra bungee cords. Top of the pack, right in the rain. Protractor, some flag and tape, laminated map of my AO. Another protractor, some map markers, pencil, and that's it. Inside the pack, top I got nothing right now. Also replaced the drawstring with a survival cord, right? Camelback with Sawyer Mini in line. I uh, upgraded my wet weather bag. I love the military issued one, but they are super hard to uh, find one that's in, in decent shape. In here, why do I have everything in a wet weather bag? It's not to keep it dry, although it is to keep it dry. It's really to, to make sure that it, it floats. Uh, Ziploc bag, right? <laughs> wet weather bag, inside a wet weather bag. Ziploc bag, couple extra pair of socks and some foot powder. Wet weather top, via 17 panel. Towel, because hygiene. Uh, another field strip MRE. Only other thing I'm carrying right now, uh, for comms, I'm just, right now I'm just running a, a walkie-talkie with a, a flex tape antenna and hand mic. Now, if you listen, do you hear it? It's somebody leaving a comment about unsecure comms. Go shut your comment up. Right side, I got, it's a 10 by 10 tarp. I don't use often, but it's nice to have especially if the weather turns to crap, I can make a little bit larger of a shelter. My go-to shelter uh, when I'm out there patrolling is just a uh, poncho. I keep my stakes dummy corded to uh, the corners of the poncho. So if I needed to, I can use this as wet weather gear, but if I did, then obviously I got to take the stakes off or I'm going to be dangling everything. And some extra cordage and stakes. This one is empty right now. Uh, inside I just have a couple uh, marking panels. Uh, but this is all where I'm going to put the rest of my field strip MREs in. I can fit an easy two and a half field strip MREs uh, and I still have room for spare. Uh, so I keep everything on the outside of the pouch that I want quick and easy access to. Everything on the inside, I don't really access all that much. Uh, and you can see I don't carry a whole lot uh, in the pack, and that's 
not because it's a small pack, although it is, but when I'm going out for, you know, one night to two nights to three nights, I just don't need all that much stuff. I need water, I need food, I need shelter. And, you know, obviously being able to communicate back uh, to the old command post and being able to affect some basic survival things should something happen is about all I care about. So I don't, I don't carry extra uh, tops and bottoms. I don't carry extra drawers for just a few days. I don't carry a lot of the other shit that's out there on packing lists that nobody ever actually even uses, let alone carries. So what you see is what you get, and this is what we got. So team, let me know what you think about the gear that we have here and the gear that Martin showed over on his channel. And we will continue to keep this conversation rolling. As always, I appreciate you guys. And until then, you stay out there, you keep grinding, and you stay stoked. Team, if you want to master your craft and develop your tactical virtue, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so that you can stay up to date with future content. Consider becoming a channel member. It's going to give you exclusive access to content not available to anybody else. I appreciate you guys. Until then, you stay out there, you keep grinding, and you stay stoked. We know you're out there. Come to my voice.